Hey guys, today in Chemical Exchange, we're going to get into some better Ender IO power and start nuclear craft. So stick around. Hope you enjoy. All right, so let's get started. I really want to get into AE2 and I have, I think, most of the stuff set here that I need. But these, these guys aren't going to hold up for the power. Um, I've been cooking up a bunch of these uh, Endermen guys here we're gonna go ahead and stop it because we need this extraterrestrial matter and I, I've been working on this a little bit I went ahead and got some wither stuff because if we look at this put this into here we can get wither skulls and nether stars you can actually make another star that's insane. All we got to do is put that in there. So let's go ahead and get those. I want to get some nether stars real quick. While that's cooking up, I got a bunch of stuff in here. I forgot we could break these guys down. And we're just going to go ahead and stop this. We're going to break down this, this, and this. It gives us rhodium, rethanine. Ruthenium, ruthenium, palladium, and then our extra stuff here. All right. So you can break down the heads, and that will give you that, which isn't a thing yet. Palladium, not yet. And then, all right. And then this is just bone meal, so we can break that down. Uh, I went ahead and switched out titanium for suborgium because it holds a lot more um 65,000 per stack versus 532,000 so let's just go ahead and dump this all out all right let's see we're sitting at 20 million right now let's see what we get 26 almost 27 million that's awesome all right so we need to get in stone because we're coming off of these this quest here in stone to get in stone is two sandstones and ender pearl and extraterrestrial matter i have that uh ender pearls that i have them in here i got one okay Ender pearls, ender pearls. Let's go ahead and use this. Oh yeah, that's right. We need the nether stars. Make some of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do we? How come I can't? Oh, okay. I need more sandstone. I thought I had enough sand. Guess not. And I, this is why I really want to get some storage. <clears throat> Alright. Sucrose and that here. Alright, let's go ahead and stop this one more time. I just should just get another one of these set up just for processing stuff. Let's go dump this in here. Oh, there's our lithium. I think that was one of them that we needed. There it is, a thorium, sweet. Let's go ahead and change this back. Go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna take this, put here, make some more sand just because I can. All right, so some sand there. Oh, and then we got the vantium, vanadium, vanadium. Um, how do we get this? How did I get that? Oh, from a spider eye. <laughs> I was like, how did I get this? Yeah, it's a 1% chance from spider eyes. And I, uh, I was breaking down spider eyes to get it. We just need to make this, which we can't. Beryllium, aluminum, silicone, and oxygen. Do we have beryllium? No, we don't have beryllium yet. Okay, so that's still a little ways off. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. And then we can get the thorium out. Perfect. 
let's go ahead and put these guys up I got way too many compounds and where are we gonna put this let's do this oh that's where I put them go and put these guys down here okay let's get our 14 wither skull heads do we have soul sand how do we make soul sand oh a hellish and oh that's easy or we can make it with thulium thulium and silicon dioxide do we have thulium yet We do. Okay. So let's just go ahead and make this way. Take this and this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now we just take these guys here, take these guys put here. And then that in the middle, I believe it was. And we now have nether stars. What does the nether stars give us? We can't put anything in there. We can smelt it. <gasps> Stellar alloy. That's a ways down. Because we need the this here. Yeah. Alright, so what can we use the nether stars for? Vision core. A wither data model. Ooh. Okay. All right. Okay. Beacons. All right. Not much at this point in time, I guess. Could put that guy back there and that there. Okay. Sure. We'll call that good. Alrighty, in stone. We need the in stone for. Oh, that's right. That was the uh, thorium. Now we need uranium. Uranium is in the shop, I believe. Yeah, uranium is fifty thousand. We just need one. We also need neon, which is one. I'm gonna put neon in here uranium in here all right there's the uranium now we need a fission controller and a fuel reprocessor let's go ahead and add you and add you all right for the fission controller we need some advanced plate plat plating plating Adva we need some advanced platings, some magnesium diboride solenoids, a machine chassis, and two nuclear furnaces. So we need basic plating, graphite dust, and lead ingots. So graphite dust, graphite dust comes from crushed coal. All right, let me make up a bunch of this stuff, and we'll come back. I know I'm, I'm going to need an alloy furnace. So I'm gonna need alloy for, furnace, furnace, which I have all that stuff right here. Uh, we're gonna need this. We just need that, which we need grains of infinity, which I had there for my mess up early on. So let's type in alloy. Let's get this set up real quick and do this on camera, I guess. We need this. We need a few of those, so I just make four. And then I went ahead and did the stone gears. Simple iron furnaces that works. Can we make another one of these? Yeah, I think we're gonna want two for right now. Let's plug you in there and you in there. All right, so those have got power. 
because those are pretty slow right now. We can't make the other ones quite yet. We need dark metal uh, gears, and we need that for that. So crushed coal, iron, and obsidian. So let me do that. Coal, carbon. Let me get all this stuff worked up real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, while this is smelting down, I just went ahead and made a bunch of coal. Um, I kind of want to get a capacitor. Since these guys back here are always running, I don't want to lose it. I've been losing a lot of power. So I'm going to do the basic capacitors. We're going to need grains of infinity, golden nuggets, and we need at least four of these. Um, can upgrade this. We can't make the energetic alloy yet. We can. Okay, so we're going to need a double layered. So we need six. Yep. Eight. Nine of those. Okay, so nine. So the 18. My math is right. Uh, this. 18. Let's do that. Now we need gold. I think it's just right there. Yeah, it's more than enough. Oh, we already had gold. So we need nuggets. And we need basic capacitor copper. That should be enough. Okay. 20. Oh, that's more than enough. Let's go ahead and make those. And this we need the energetic alloy, so we need redstone, gold, and glowstone dust. Okay, glowstone. Glowstone dust comes from phosphorus. And if we look at uses, get four for that, or sixteen for that. That's the same. Let's just toss that in there. Okay, give me that. And redstone, which is, what is redstone again? Redstone is strontium and iron oxide. Oh, we have a bunch of redstone. And we have gold. All right, so let's toss this in here. And what was it? Gold, redstone, and glowstone dust. There we go. All right, so that's cooking that up. We have one steel. I thought that made dark steel. In a simple alloy furnace, we have crushed coal, iron, and obsidian. Am I not? That's not the right pattern. Iron, crushed coal, and obsidian. That is the right pattern. Why am I only getting? Oh, because I that was it took this and this. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. What can we use this for? Nothing in here. Two of those equal. A fair. Oh, that's steel and boron. We're gonna need this too. There is so much in this. We need steel tough alloy alloy, which is a ferroborn alloy. So we need. Boron ingots. Let's just make a bunch of this. It should be top left, yeah. That should be more than enough. Hopefully, let's do some more while we're waiting. Mm. Boron. There we go. Lock that just in case. I'm just going to need a bunch of those. All right, let's go back to the capacitor. I'm kind of all over the place. I want to, so much I want to do. So we need a redstone block. So that's easy. So let's make, we're going to need a few of these. Okay. And we need iron ingots. We can make two. 
Um, what do we need to make another one? Oh, we need three more of these. So we need more gold and more grains of infinity. All right, let's put you back, you back. And for now, put you guys over here. You're just taking up inventory space. So we need more grains of infinity. Not a problem. Do 18 more. We still got plenty of money. We're going to need that money, though, later. We need gold. Uh, gold. Toss a bunch of this out. This is another reason why I like this stone transmutation table. It's because you can just click it. Click it like that. Okay. Nope. Locked it. Okay, there we go. And then let's do that. That's going to give us a lot. And then boron we can just toss back in here for now. Yeah, that's more than enough gold. Let's get that. Get our capacitors. Nine more. Ooh, did I put the redstone block in there? I did. go make some more capacitors do we have any of this yet we got six perfect and i can't grab it because uh, my inventory is full there we go now let's go ahead and make our bigger capacity bank first we need one of these and we need one more of those oh i needed seven all right where are we on in the dark steel cool so we made the simple alloy smelter. We need um, a sag mill. Simple sag mill. I think I have, this is what I had all the recipes for. Yep. Okay. There's our sag mill, which we can. Oh, we got quest. That was a quest. Sweet. Put our simple sag mill up there. Let's take these and for now we'll toss in here. And we have another simple let's machine chances. Sweet. All right. So somewhere that was a quest, I think. We got we got some extra stuff for that. I guess not. All right. We still need this. So this is a little bit ways off. I got to make a bunch of stuff. So ferroborn alloy. We saw that in an alloy smelter is steel and boron. Okay. We got some dark steel. What were we going to use you for? Oh, okay. We can make the instoid alloy. All right. We can make a better sag mill once we get the industrial, which is uh, some organic stuff, which is... Uh, I'm going to do that off camera. You guys have probably seen all this stuff before. Grass clippings in a sag mill gets you that. And you combine that with a uh, slime ball, and you get the organic green dye. Organic black dye is crushed coal and slime ball. And then we just have crushed quartz and crushed lapis. So that's pretty simple. I'm going to do that off camera. And then we need, oh, the dark bimetal gil, 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 gills. Infinity. So we need iron, iron, and grains of infinity. So I'm going to need a bunch of grains of infinity. I'm gonna need one of these, some of these. I have those. We're gonna need this. I'm gonna need some more of those. We're gonna need that and that. Alright, I'm gonna do all this real no, not real quick, but I'm gonna delete this all this off camera. I'll bring you guys back when I have upgraded my sag mill and my alloy smelter to see if we go uses um, alloy smelter here we just need this pretty much the same thing dark metal gear some furnaces dark steel yeah you get the point give me give me a little bit I'll be right back all right so a little time has passed 
Um, I went ahead and upgraded our alloy smelters and our sag mill. I went ahead and down here put in some capacitor banks. I went ahead and made those to the second tier. Um, these guys right here made up the energetic alloy, the double layer capacitors, like we were talking about. That took a little while. Um, so it's it's building up power, but we're gonna do something else. Um, I started looking at how to use these in some other videos to use the uh, controller and reprocessor. To get into nuclear craft, we're gonna need to make all this. So we're gonna make this stuff real quick. I have pretty much everything I need. Like I said, I've been busy. Uh, first, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go, and hopefully this doesn't break everything. Got uh, six. We're gonna go ahead and uses, we're gonna make these uh, uses. Uses, and I don't know why I think they all had different powers in them, so that's why. Um, skip. All right, I think they all had different levels of power in them. That's why they were doing that. So let's go ahead and make those. Those are gonna fill up as soon as we put these guys in there. Nice. I think I might have lost a little bit of fuel. But they are definitely putting out the power. It's going to burn through that stuff like crazy. Uh, let's take a look at our fuel here. Oh, we got plenty. All right. Yeah, we got plenty of junk fuel there. But these are not going to leak. There is no power leak on this. So that's kind of nice. We can uh, increase this with some other capacitors later. Um, we just can't get to those yet. Okay. Those are interesting. Yeah, we can't get to these yet until we get to at least. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a simple, cheap one. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we need here. Uh, we are going to need a bunch of these copper solenoids, uh, copper, iron. Oh, where's my copper and iron? Let's make. So we need. We have these. With, no, we don't have these. Let's start there. All right. We need our fission controller. So we need. First, we need a magnesium dio diberide solenoids so we need the magnesium diberide alloy and tough alloy went ahead and made these up this is pretty simple it's magnesium and boron in the alloy smelter and then tough alloy is the ferroborn and lithium ferroborn is steel and boron all right so we need uh what was it we needed again because i've lost already magnesium and tough alloy Tough alloy and magnesium. There we go. All right. So let's make, we need two of those. Oh, that was easy. Next, we need these basic plates. So we need lead and graphite, which I have, oh, in my inventory. So let's go ahead and make these up. And I think I made enough for quite a bit. No, lead. Do I have more lead in here? Yes, I do. Could have swore I made more for that. Because I don't know how many of these we're going to need, so a couple stacks is going to be nice. Why not? Okay, now we need redstone and tough alloy. So we need our redstone. Uh, did I put the tough alloy where? Uh oh. Did I not make enough of that? I don't think I made enough tough alloy. Wonderful. Alright, well, we're going to make 15 of those because that's all I got. Um, The tough alloy again is. 
Fairborn and Lithium. Uh, oh, did I put it up here? I bet you I did. Magnesium. Tough alloy. There it is. So it's Lithium and Fairborn. Let's dump that. Like I said, I made a bunch of Fairborn. That's going to make that. Cool. And these bull all have the double capacitors as well. Okay. So these guys are going to be working overtime for a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and make lead steel tough alloy i need the lead there we go we're gonna need a few of these make i think six should do it then we're gonna need these nuclear furnaces basic plates tough alloy furnaces i have all of that we need two of those oops two of those now we should be able to make our efficient controller sweet now the fuel reprocessor we need the boron ingot basic plating tough alloy and one of these and then this linear actuator so we need a piston and copper which i have here copper pistons uh what else do we need from here we need boron ingot do i have the boron on me oh yes i do okay and let's make that let's make the fuel reprocessor there's those two units now to put all this together we're going to need some other stuff um and that's going to require some of this um so we need copper and iron copper iron i don't think we need a lot of these i don't remember so we need an isotope separator for fuel. So we need to make these electric motors. So steel, gold, iron. We just need the gold. Okay, electric motors. We're gonna need a few of these. Six is all we can make because we need to make more of this. Why not? We'll just use all that. Make more of these. All right. Now we can make our isotope separator. That's done. We need to make a rock crusher. We need two of these guys. We need two more pistons. Two more pistons there. Beautiful rock crusher. And our inventory is full. So let's go ahead and Which chest do we want to use? Let's use this one for right now. Yeah, I kind of want this one out real quick because we're going to do something with that before we're done today. So let's go ahead and actually put you down here. Yes, you got instant power. Sweet. All right. So there's a rock crusher. We have a machine chassis. We have the magnesium diberide alloy. We need this solenoid which is magnesium diber, diberide and tough alloy. I don't know how many, so we're just gonna do that because we have it, we have these. Made the tough alloy. Now we're down to the casings for the reactor. We need, em we need empty coolers, so we need more steel. Not a problem. I say that as I don't have it with me. Steel. Let's make some empty coolers. Okay. Now we're gonna need, put that up, we're gonna need some lapis because we need to make some lapis coolers. Uh, we need lapis blocks, 14 of them. Oops. There we go. 21 of those should do. We don't need that many. We have, we can only make 10, so let's make five. Because we have to have equal a number of, oh no, we have 15 left. Sweet. So we have 10 and 10, perfect. That is plenty. Yeah, 
back. All right, so that's part of the reactor that we're gonna need. And the reason why we're gonna do this next time is because to make the fuel for this can take some time, I guess, uh, from what I was seeing. So we made those. We need to make reactor cells, which is tough alloy and glass, which I got glass here. Uh, we can put this in here, this in here, this in there, this, this, this. We don't need that. Where is our tough alloy? Do I not have enough of that? Hmm. Is that what I'm making down here? I forget what I, I forget what I put in here. Yes, we did. Tough alloy. Okay, perfect. Let's make some of these used in fission reactors to house the fission fuels. The more cells placed, the more rapidly fuel is used. Cell will cells would be more efficient for uh, for each other cell they are adjacent to, or for each adjacent line of moderator blocks of a lake for at most, ending with another cell. Okay, we'll make sixteen of those. And now we need the fusion casings. So we need um, some ender pearls, which I have here. We need, looks like tungsten, which I had here. I don't need this. I need the boron, don't need the steel. I do need the tungsten. And I need more tough alloy. All right, let's go ahead and make, oh, this is not the tough alloy. This is these guys, the neodymium, neodymium, neodymium ingots, which are pretty simple. You just put it uh, in the, okay, neodymium, neodymium in there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, let's make a bunch of these. Uh, make more. Let's do it this way. I don't think I need this many. And in fact, I know I don't, but you know, I do all this stuff in overkill just because I, if I'm in a process of making something, I don't want to stop and make more later. So I just make a bunch. As you can see, I have more dark metal gears than I need. If you need binary metal gears, I mean, this stuff will come in handy later, but I figured why not? And I did buy a bunch of grains in Infinity, almost two stacks. That was expensive. Okay, um, let's look at our quests. Let's go down here. We have these guys. We need Neptunium. That is going to be next episode, I think, because to get this, yeah, you break down Neptunium, Neptunium, which comes from tiny clumps. No, isotope separator. Yeah, this is one of the things we just made. I believe yeah we just made one of these so I need to learn how to do all the different fuels yeah there it is the different fuels and everything and what they're used for mm, boy that's gonna be fun but we're gonna put actually let's do this right now let's take where are we going take this chest and put down here since this is where our fusion reactor is going to go and I can just dump all this in here for fusion stuff sweet all right the reason why we wanted this rock crusher okay something I found out rock crusher you can break all this stuff down the anisite diorite and granite i think it's yep polished andesite or andesite give us beryllium dust which gives us our beryllium uh earlier we were talking about beryllium needing to make the barrel which is how you get emeralds so let's get some andesite shall we uh this one uh one of these yes uh silicone dioxide I don't know how much we need it. Okay, unlock the recipes. Uses. Um, granite. Andesite. There it is. Okay. 
Don't know how much of this we need. Let's just toss all this in there. And we're going to crush a couple stacks, it looks like. <clears throat> More than a couple stacks. How much do we got? Okay, that's it. All right, unlock recipe. Let's go down here. Let's toss this stuff in here. Ooh, we can use our upgrades that we have. In that. And that is... Those. And we need to go open some more of our loot chests. I think it's... Um, this one here. You can get them out of the base. Oh, out of either one. So let's open up a stack of those. Put this back in there. And it looks like we got six. Oh, nice. Mob mob fans. I do have a an idea for a better mob farm, and I might gonna use it, so these will come in handy for that. Let's see if we can get a stack of this. Okay. Let's go back down here. Mm, there it is. Rock crusher. Let's put you and you in there. A lot faster. All right. So it looks like we have the beryllium. Very nice. Beryllium, we just go ahead and lock this guy down again because we need what comes out of it. Oh my god, that's so much beryllium. We only needed one. Unlock it. We're going to toss you in there. Now, beryllium, we make barrel. So we need aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. Okay. Aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. Okay, now we're going to go in here. Beryllium uses. There we go. Lock that in. Let's just start dumping all this stuff in here. And that's going to make our barrel. All right, now we take the barrel, and then we're going to combine it with chromium and vandium. Okay, so chromium and vandium. Oops, vanadium. Vanadium? 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 You say tomato, I say tomato. Okay. And we're going to get some emeralds. Go ahead and do chromium. Barrel doesn't need to be any ventium, van vananium, aluminum, silicon. And then let's grab these, put these back in here. How many emeralds did that get us? One. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so I went ahead and did this for a little bit. We got some emeralds. The reason why we want these emeralds is so we can come over here, take these. Should I just I should just put a crafting bench up here. Why am I not doing that? Because this is getting ridiculous. Uh, we can put the crafting bench uh, right there. All right, we'll take these, take these, and I made more than I needed, like usual. And now we have our tier five cobblestone generators. And that takes care of this whole side of our quests. So now we just need bromine, fluorine, AE stuff, and then down into nuclear craft. And from what I've seen in other videos, this kind of curls around over here into some crazy stuff. Um, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and go through all of this and any of these that we have, I'm going to go through and get these all set up. We won't collect the rewards till next episode. So you guys can see that, but we're 73% of the way there and 38% there. So we're getting, we're getting quite a ways. Next time we will look into setting up nuclear craft, fission, power, all that great technical stuff that I have no idea how to use, but I'm going to learn. All right, guys, if you liked the video, please consider hitting that like button. Also, consider subscribing 
click the little bell to get notified for when I put up new videos, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for hanging out to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out some of my other videos.